new version of uh, advanced roadmaps there is an early access feature called uh, dependency map now today i want to show you how it looks like and uh, how you can also use it and by the way this is early access feature use it maybe for testing purpose and i think eventually it will come to your portfolio and uh, i should say advanced road maps so basically if you if you look at uh, this uh, this page we have some details about uh, what this dependency map is all about so basically you will get some kind of a graph or a diagram where you can see visually the issues that are dependent on each other and to be honest this was actually desirable because even in the old version of portfolio in the new version of portfolio as well there is no graphical view of dependent issues and people need that people when they are planning for months in advance or maybe when they have dependencies on different teams they want to know visually in one go and this has a lot of applications especially when you are doing your pi planning in case uh, you want to use advanced roadmap for uh, safe implementation and uh, i'll probably now just go to my instance and look at the look at how it looks like how it uh, works i was reading this uh, this page it has some nice options and it seems like it can solve lot of problems but i want to see how it works uh, without reading documentation so let us go to the jira instance and let us enable this feature now to enable this feature you need to go to your plan and then you need to go to the administration of your plan and you will find this option called early access features and uh, you can check this box called dependencies map and there is a link called learn more it will open the same page that i was showing you earlier now to work on this dependency map you can directly go to one of your plan let us say if i go to my improved interface and by the way i think it will only work with improved improved interface i guess i didn't really check the old version there is no point in checking but uh, i'll check <laughs> so the first thing that i noticed immediately is uh, the tab on top called the fourth tab on top called dependencies now usually if you have to work on dependencies you can uh, always go to your views and then you can take a look at this view called dependency view where you have this plan basically filtered with only issues where you have some kind of dependencies now you also have the option here on top now with the new version and the new feature which is uh, still early access feature if you click on it now you have this wonderful map and it looks to be honest uh, immediately i can see immediately i can see the benefits so when let us say you are planning the work maybe you are at uh, a specific level or maybe when you are uh, trying to plan the work where you are waiting for something from maybe another team you want to know how it looks like uh, visually because it really helps in uh, resolving those uh, dependencies now immediately i can see here that uh, my launch android app which is an epic it is uh, right now basically based on not based on but it is basically waiting for the back end work and also the user management work and you do have some dependencies in uh, in a red color when you have these dependencies in red color it means that they are not really uh, healthy it means for example you can clearly see here that uh, it is uh, like for example for for launching the android app you need uh, user management but user management is probably scheduled to to end on 10th of may uh, which is uh, definitely bef definitely much later than uh, 15th of april which is the start date so you can always you know go to your plan and you can uh, 
fix this dependency by changing the schedule and uh, you you have of course similar information one thing that i was trying to do is i was uh, i mean if you're familiar familiar with ev agile apps you have the option to also work on those dependencies on a timeline so basically right now there is no timeline but imagine that you have some kind of timeline on top just like your roadmap view where you can maybe drag and drop the issues or, or maybe you know just do some planning by dragging the issues from one sprint to another sprint i'm i'm just trying to compare with easy agile app uh but this is this is still good there are few things that you can i think that i think you can also do on top i can see here that we have the option called roll up to which is right now none so basically i guess it will uh, help me in uh, changing the hierarchy level so if i click on theme we don't really have any theme in this particular uh, in this particular plan but we have a lot of epics so i i guess it will just focus on that particular level and it looks good to me but uh, we do have some links and uh, you can see here that these links will show you whether for example if you are waiting for so 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 we have two epics and there is a dependency and it says multiple link so when you click on it it will tell you that o o a n 1 is basically um waiting for something to be finished which could be another epic or maybe another another uh, story in that particular epic so this looks really nice and uh, if i maybe change it to story now we have uh, at story level i mean i mean we can see all the stories as well but i think it is also showing you the uh, epics and uh, if i click on sub task so i think uh, there is no difference here or maybe i mean you can always have further dependencies w what if if i select team so if i select team it is now showing dependencies across teams which is good to know so maybe you are you are waiting you are waiting for uh, something from the back end team because the back end team is probably working on uh, maybe the authentication part or maybe they are setting up uh, the environment or doing some work that you need them to finish only then you can work on uh, your your stories or your activities or any issue so this is also good so basically you can see here by changing this uh, drop down what kind of dependencies from what from which level you need some information or or basically what exactly you are waiting for it could be a team it could it could be at the team level or maybe at any hierarchy level so really good i like this now we also have the option called uh, group by so if i select here team so this is even interesting uh because uh, right now we're looking at all the teams and now we are also looking at uh, all these uh, all these uh, dependencies so i'll just change the hierarchy to none or roll up to none so i think this make this looks good to be honest so basically it says that uh, for i mean if there's a team associated it will show the issues under that particular team i guess for o a n 7 there is no team i have i believe yet so if i click on locate issue in road map so this is also interesting if you want to go to the uh, road map you can click on it and it will basically fill up this scope uh, search text and i can see this highlighted here in the in the timeline in the scope basically now i can uh, maybe change the team here so for android team i will simply allocate some team here let us uh, select couple of teams so that uh, we can uh, maybe maybe the back end team for back end uh, epic and by the way one suggestion if you are working on advanced road maps when you are adding teams um i, I mean when you are working on the source try to use the board because when you are when you are using boards the team association will work really well i have made videos on this topic so you can read Uh, so you can watch those videos videos if you want so let us uh, i think this is it i think let us go back to the dependency and uh, let me try to i was trying to filter what happened to this so let me select none and let me select team again okay so it's it is showing some information on top for 
for this particular activity, which is uh, bug fixes, it could be any type of issue, I guess, because we are not really using uh, any hierarchical level on top. It is basically showing you dependencies across different teams. So quite good. And I, I can easily drag this. And I believe there is an option here to also change the size. Overall, I quite like this. I think uh, it is definitely in the right uh, direction. And I'm sure Atlassian will definitely improve it in uh, future because uh, there are, I'm sure people want to use uh, uh, this dependency map. And it was actually one of, uh, I think it was actually one of the feature requests, I believe, because in the new version of uh, advanced roadmap, improved interface, we don't really have any report. So it is kind of a report, of course, uh, you can also do a few things with it, you can maybe click on uh, the item and you can then take a look at uh, dependencies and you can go to that specific issue in your in your roadmap. So it is some kind of an interactive uh, report. And that is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.